Hi, welcome to Brant Ranch Garage. Today we're going to be degreeing the cam on our 292 engine for the camper truck. The uh, reason you want to degree a cam is because subtle um, manufacturing errors in the camshaft itself or the keyways on the crank or the cam can just stack up errors and you will get an engine that won't perform the way you expect it to. So what we want to do is confirm that the cam is synchronized properly with the crankshaft. So I've done a little bit of startup work. I've got the top dead center found. I used a dial indicator for that of number one piston. And I've set the degree wheel and made a pointer to point to top dead center. So let me show you kind of the setup for um, the degree and we'll get started. Starting at the front, I've got my degree wheel bolted to the dampener bolt in the front of the crankshaft. Um, on the crankshaft, I have an engine turning nut that I modified. Um, it started out as a uh, small block Chevy one and I opened it up just slightly to get to the inch and quarter size of the camshaft, of the crankshaft. And uh, then we made a pointer and you can see it's pointing to almost top dead center, not quite. Um, that's right, it's, it's just I didn't turn the crank just perfectly. Um, and then here's the setup for the long throw dial indicator that's sitting in the lifter. Um, I started out in the exhaust. Um, I'm on an exhaust lifter now, so we'll do that one first. And uh, let's get going. So this paper here constitutes the cam card for the ISKI E4 cam and the correct specs are highlighted down here. So um, what we're looking for is 36 degrees and 0 degrees on the close and on the exhaust and 0 degrees for open and 36 degrees for close on the intake. And this, these are measured at uh, 0.050 inch lifter rise. Um, I'm having to turn this over with this comically huge <laughs> wrench. Um, yeah, we're on the exhaust valve and it is now closed. We're going to turn the engine over until it opens to 0 0.050 and then we're going to take a reading. There it's opening. And very carefully. There. Okay. So the reading I get from the degree wheel is 43 degrees, which that's before bottom dead center. And we were looking for 36, so uh, not super close, seven degrees off. Uh, next we'll go ahead and uh, measure the closing. Now I have a little bit of grease on the lifters so I'm going to have to kind of help it close. So that I can get an accurate reading. There it's closing again. This dial indicator will measure up to up to an inch because you know your lift is more than uh, more than most dial indicators will indicate
Okay. So that's closed. I need to back up to 050. And uh, that measurement is six degrees, and we were looking for zero. So I think we're, I think we're a little off. Um, let's set up and do the intake and see how, see what it's doing. So I think we have the, you know, it's not like we'd have the wrong cam or something, but, uh, um, and we can adjust this. We have a we have a timing set that has adjustable points on it. So maybe we can run it six degrees retarded, I think, and then get it right close to spec. Okay, we're we're at closed on the intake. Opening. Two fifty. And I'm reading this at seven degrees, which we were looking for zero degrees. So it's pretty consistent, but consistently wrong. Okay, so taking our final measurement um, for the closing on the intake side, um, we have some variation. I think we're definitely we're definitely off by some amount. Um, but I'm going to, I really have to go back through everything and check it again before I make, uh, before more I make a change to the timing. But it's looking pretty consistent. You know, if something's off by a consistent amount, it's probably off. So I think I'm going to take a moment and just re-verify everything write down my actual values and uh, um, make a decision. Okay, so I have done a number of things. I made a piston stop out of a piece of angle iron. Um, and so I confirmed that my uh, pointer is in the right place for top to the center. It was actually off by one degree, but uh, I don't think that's really going to make much difference. So it's correct now. And then I've done all these measurements with that new setting. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you can see it. I'm, I'm looking at like six uh, degrees on open on the intake and 30 on the close, which... I was expecting 0 and 36, so that seems to make sense. I'll have to think about that. That doesn't seem quite right. seems like they should be off the same amount in the same direction. Um, on the exhaust side, I'm at right around 40 on the open, which would be uh, 4 degrees off, and 7 on the close, which would be seven degrees off. So, um, got to think this through. Uh, it feels like I'm six degrees off, but that seems like a lot. So, um, I got to really go through and figure out if, if those numbers make sense with each other. At this point, I've done it about, I don't know, 20 times on each cylinder, on each valve. 
Um, I feel like I'm pretty confident that we are six degrees advanced on the cam. So I'm going to take this all apart and uh, change the timing set to um, correct for that. And then we'll measure it all again and see how it turned out. Okay, we had a little problem um, with just the fact that the, the keyways aren't marked very well on this particular kind of thing. And Y blocks are kind of hard to time. So what we did this time is we moved, we essentially moved this dot from here over to here and then consequently we moved that dot down to here and uh, pretty sure that'll work and so we're going to retard it six degrees which will effectively have it advance three degrees which is better for torque and things like that so I think I'm hoping this time we'll right be where we want to be okay we're done um, I found that I don't know how many times I retimed it um, put the timing chain back on um, probably 10 and uh, sometimes it was just completely not even close because I didn't do the dots right, transition the dots around. So that last time was the final time and showed you how to do it. Um, so the, uh, the timing specs right now are right on the money. Uh, 36 open, uh, zero close on exhaust and zero open and 36 close on intake so i'm not going to mess with it anymore um, i'm going to uh, retorque the can bolt and uh, take all the, the the degree wheel and stuff off and uh, um, call it a day so thanks for watching thanks for sticking with it and uh, have a great evening